once again. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I was I was actually here uh, some hours ago for the program wake up call, and now I am back for our first official program of today. But before I delve into business, good morning. How is your Monday going already? I know that there are lots of people who really hate Monday. Are you part of those people who hate Monday? They say Monday has an ugly face. It means too much work. It means seriousness. But I just want to say, I think it is people who are quite lazy, who are not open to the possibilities that uh, that lie uh, in hard work. I, I want to believe that it is those people who just love procrastinating, you know, who just want things to come easy to them. That Those are the people who really hate Monday. Because Monday just shows, Monday is like a sign of responsibility. It just brings out the, um, it brings out the mature, responsible person in you. You know, that, that's exactly how I see Monday. I, I don't know about you, but that's how I see Monday. Uh, when I remember it's Monday, it's Instead of instead of getting sad over the issue, I just um I just you know see it as an opportunity for me to just showcase my ability to be mature and responsible. All right. So with that, I officially welcome you to Rooster Call. Yes, the Rooster Call program. The Rooster Call program right here on Vicky Radio. It is the program that uh, we use to motivate and inspire ourselves every day. Yes, uh, this is not like the Wake Up Call program. The Wake Up Call program is all about music for meditation. But the Rooster Call program is where we get to actually uh, talk to ourselves, inspire ourselves motivate ourselves you know that's how we do it right here on Rooster Call and of course it is yours truly solely for your listening pleasure Vicky Lonia Radio and I remain your number one radio host aha the queen of the MRC Vicky Lonia and I am going to be taking you through the next uh, th- uh, um, 10 minutes of the program Rooster Call so what exactly are we going to be doing right here on Rooster Call you stay tuned don't touch that eye <music> So today on Rooster Call, uh, welcome back. <laughs> today on Rooster Call, we are really going to be talking about um, something, uh, a phenomena that is uh, that is very uh, conversant with our daily lives. You know, uh, there are lots of us who really go through this the issue that I will be talking about today on Rooster Call, and um, I, I and I really want us to tackle that issue it, because it is one of the things that comes with. Uh, Oh my God, it's Monday. <laughs> it's one of the things that comes with maturity. It's one of the things that come with responsibility. It's one of the things that come with change. It's one of the things that come with building your dreams and ambition and, and making sure that it comes to uh, fruition. It's one of the things that happens to us on a daily basis, you know, but um, um, it, but it, it, the only thing that could result to this sort of thing is when you're having negative energy and negative vibes all around you. And that is one thing that Rooster Cole is trying as much as possible to do to get you away from all that negative energy and negative vibes and replace it with abundance of positive energy and positive vibes so today on rooster call i am going to be talking about fear do not allow your fear to bottle you up do not allow your fear to butter you up. And as usual, I'm going to be I'm going to be giving you a compilation of quotes to buttress my point. Do not allow your fear to bottle you up. A lot of us are scared of a lot of things. We are scared of change. We are scared of uh, uh, of our dreams. You know, we have these big goals and ambitions, and we're so scared that we might not be able to meet up with with the expectations. You know, we are so scared of people around us. We are so scared of the fact that we are broke we are scared of the fact that uh, lots of things are not really going the way we want them to go and because of that things will never go well come on life is never a bed of roses you can never get it so easy what is life why would life be so sweet when you can get everything if you can get everything as easily 
as you want it. No, that is the beauty of life. The beauty of life is that you can never get it easy. You just have to work for it. You know, when you have you noticed that when you get something free of charge, you don't value it. But when you work hard for that thing, when you spend your sweat, your blood, your money, when you spend your time and your energy trying to get that thing, trust me, you value it more than when you get it free of charge. You, 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 you know that, right? So how, will, how would you value life if you get everything free, if you get everything so easily? So don't be scared. Just, it, is, it is just a challenge. Just take it that way. Be challenged to do things. Don't be scared. Don't run away. Don't backslide. Don't, just, don't, don't crawl back into your shell. Don't do that. Life is not a bed of roses. So do not allow your fear to bust you up. Do not allow your fears to bottle you up. That's exactly what we are going to be talking about today on Brewster Call, a compilation of quotes to buttress my point is of course ready at your listening pleasure. Mm-hmm. So uh, um, uh, without wasting much time, we'll be going straight to the program proper. So I'm going to be giving you this compilation of quotes and let this fear quote help you overcome your fears and, you know, move beyond them. No Fear is being scared to try something. It can cause, you know, anxiety. It can cause doubt. It can cause you worry. Fear can limit your success. So it is always best to, you know what, to face your fears and overcome them. Because the more you run away from them, the more you're just going to propound your own problems. So I'm going to be looking at the ver- I'm going to be giving us this compilation of quotes and I really want you to listen and listen good and make sure that you apply them to your daily lives. So this first one here is from of course our favorite quarter Catherine Pulsifer and she said, "Don't let your fear of failure stop you from realizing your dreams. Do not let your fear of failure to stop you from realizing your dreams." And the next one here is by John Allen, and he said, Fear of success can be just as crippling as the fear of failure. Fear of success can be just as crippling as the fear of failure. The next one here is by David Dinotaris, and he said, Let go of the fears, the worries, and the doubts. If you have to write them down on a piece of paper and burn them, do it. Have a funeral for your fears, worries, and doubts. Let them rest in peace so that you can live, walk, and play in peace. Wow. Let your fears and worries rest in peace. Bury them so that you can live, walk, and play in peace. Thank you so much, David Denotaris, for that one. And then the next one here is by Tony Clark. And he said, fear can only stop us if we let it. And finally, don't forget your friends. They just might be your lifeline when you need it the most. That is the reason why it is advised that you keep great friends. Friends that would encourage you and motivate you. Not the ones that will laugh at you at your slightest mistakes or the ones that would dump you when you're not doing it well. All right, the next quote here is by Penny Hunt. And she said, Fear makes us look for someone to blame, throw up our hands in defeat and give in to a victim mentality. Fate chooses to face the challenge with hope in a brighter future. So instead of being afraid, why don't you just, why don't you just have faith? Why don't you just have faith? <laughs> wow, uh, yes, I am really feeling the vibes right about this moment. Uh, and then the next one here is by Winston Churchill. And he said, have no fear of the future. Let us go forward into its mysteries. Tear away the veils which hide it from our eyes and move onwards with confidence and courage. Great one there. And the next one here is by Rick Warren. And he said, the fear of rejection prevents connection. Hmm. Powerful. The fear of rejection prevents connection. And the only way to get rid of fear is to do the thing you fear the most. Learn communication skills. Replace bad relationships. Reach out and risk connecting with someone. Mm, I like the first part of it. The fear of rejection prevents connection. Take note of that. All right, the next one here is by Jen Bricker, and he said, life is an amazing journey if you are not afraid to leave it. Life is an amazing journey if you are not afraid to leave it. 
And then the next one here is by Lisa Leisure. And she said, fear is a gripping emotion. Yet with all that is going on, we can assure you of one thing that we can count on. God is still on his throne and he is still in complete control. Yes, God is still on his throne and he is still in complete control. When next you are scared of something, just remember that God is in control of everything and you have nothing to be scared about. Hmm. Powerful. And the next one here is by Les Carter. And he said, There is always something more that feeds the anger than what is observed on the surface. Angry people may appear strong, willful, or certain, but be assured that beneath the veneer are fear and loneliness and insecurity and pain powerful really powerful and then this one here is by brian tracy and she said because of destructive criticism in childhood adults grow up afraid of making a mistake or failing at their work this fear serves as a form of paralysis and holds people back from taking risk volunteering for new responsibilities or extending themselves in a way why would you be well i i do understand that most of us can be scared because of the things we experienced during our childhood but even the bible says when i was a child i thought i I thought and I behaved and acted like a child. But when I grew up, I threw away childish things. To not allow your childish trauma get to you now that you're an adult, please get over it already and face life squarely in the face. Because you cannot run away from life. If you want to run away from life, that means you have to die. And I don't believe you want to die now. Not when you have like a whole lot of things to accomplish. Mm, powerful. And then this one right here is by Thomas Jefferson. And he said, the man who fears no truth has nothing to fear from lies. If you are not scared of truth, uh, of truth then you will, sh you will not be scared of lies. Okay? If you are not scared of truth, then you will not be scared of lies. Powerful. Really powerful. And this one here is by Dorothy We Hunt. And she said, if you are putting off taking action that you need to take in your job, to achieve the success you want, ask yourself what you fear. What is it that you fear that you're scared of doing? If you're scared of doing something, what is it that you are actually scared of? What is it? If you're scared of going, moving on with your life, there has to be something that is making you scared of moving on with your life. Find out what that thing is and deal with it already. Don't be a baby. Deal with it already. Good powerful <laughs> and then this one here is by harry emerson and he said fear imprisons faith liberates fear imprisons and faith liberates fear paralyzes but faith empowers fear disheartens but faith encourages fear sickens but faith heals fear makes useless Faith makes seven stable. Oh my, oh my, this is powerful. This is powerful. I'll take that again. He says, he said that this is by Harry Emerson. And he said, fear imprisons, but faith liberates. Fear paralyzes, but faith empowers. Fear disheartens, but faith encourages. Fear sickens, but faith heals. Fear makes useless, but faith makes serviceable. So do you want to be imprisoned? Do you want to be paralyzed? Do you want to be disheartened? Do you want to be sick? Do you want to be useless? No. Instead, you should be liberated. You should be empowered. You should be encouraged. You should be healed. You should be serviceable. Don't allow fear to turn you into a mediocre. Allow faith to make you the best that you can be. Yes, powerful powerful and that's exactly what we do right here on Rusical to get away the negative energy and the negative vibes away from you to get to banish them trash them out and instead replace it with positive and positive vibes and positive energy mm, powerful do not allow your fear to butter you up no instead bottle up your fear and throw it away face life squarely in the face it doesn't matter how many times you fall just keep getting up and keep doing it just keep getting up and keep doing it. Martin Luther King says, it doesn't matter how you want to move. You can crawl, you can run, you can roll, whatever it is. But please, just make sure you keep moving. You can fly, whatever it is, but keep moving. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. All right, this next one here is by Mike Buffington. And he said, taking responsibility reduces fear as it gives you a sense of control. You are in control, not fate luck or other people you are in control of your life you are in control of everything 
Thank you so much because that's all I've got for you right here on Rooster Call. I'm so grateful that you have, you have been motivated, you have been inspired to become a better version of yourself. Thank you so much for being a part of the show right here on um, Vicky Lonia Radio. And make sure you tune in by 12 for Joke Talk. It is bye-bye now. Bye-bye.